Welcome back to P2P Empire. It's time for another review. And this time I'll be sharing my insights from investing on Debitum Network, which is currently the best P2P marketplace where you can invest in business loans. Here at P2P Empire, we research and test individual P2P lending sites and talk to the CEOs of platforms to educate you about P2P lending. If your goal is to become a more informed investor, consider subscribing and hit the like button to see more videos like this one in the future. So I've been investing on Debitum Network since early 2020. And in this video, I will share my honest experience, show you my portfolio and walk you through some of the features offered by Debitum. The P2B marketplace was launched in 2018 in Latvia and since the inception, the platform focused on listing assets from lenders that operate in the business loan sector. This means that you won't find any payday loan companies on Debitum Network, but instead only companies that offer invoice financing or business loans. Debitum is a small P2B marketplace with just about 5,800 investors at the moment. However, they have already managed to fund 21.7 million worth of loans, which is quite impressive considering the niche they are in. Business loans are by far not as popular as unsecured consumer loans. The reason for this might be the recent scams in the industry or the low availability of those investments. Personally, I like the idea of supporting small and medium businesses through Debitum Network as they usually also create some kind of additional value to the society while investing in consumer loans only helps to fund consumer goods which usually don't create much value. Debitum Network collaborates only with loan originators that provide various loans to businesses. Usually we are talking about invoice financing and business loans. Debitum Network follows strict onboarding and monitoring guidelines. If you want to learn more about it, I suggest watching this video where the risk manager explains exactly how they go about it. In fact, just about 10% of all lenders that apply to list loans on Debitum Network are actually accepted. What's certainly worth mentioning is that all your investments are protected by a 90-day buyback guarantee as well as additional securities. Additional securities can be a property, a business or a personal guarantee, invoices, inventory or company stocks. That means that Debitum always takes claim, pledge or security against the loan originator in favor of the platform. What makes Debitum really special is the fact that they do monitor the performance of the lenders and regularly publish a financial evaluation of the partner, which you can easily look up on the loan originator page. That's something none of the other marketplaces actually put in action. Instead, they like you to believe that they do a great job in monitoring their lenders, which is not always true. Just look at how many loan originators got suspended on marketplaces like Mintos or Viventer just in 2020. Debitum does a much better job in protecting your interest. In fact, Debitum was the only marketplace that suspended a 40 finance and repaid all the money back to investors, while much larger platforms like Mintos and Viventer failed to do that. So by now, you know that Debitum is really good in protecting your money, but higher protection has also its cost. So investors on Debitum Network earn just about 8.5% interest per year, which is much lower than advertised on other platforms. At the end of the day, you have to decide for yourself which product suits you better and what interest do you get after calculating the potential losses on other platforms. So let's jump to the platform to show you how everything works. Debitum allows you to invest manually or by using an auto-invest tool. Here in the asset list, you can see all the available loans for investment. You can use the filters and click on individual loans to get more information about the loan term, interest payments, amortization type, securities, and the industry where the borrower is operating in. This is a good place to get familiar with the assets in which you can invest. Debitum does, however, offer an auto-invest tool, which will save you a lot of time. So let's have a look at our auto-invest settings. Debitum gives you the option to invest into three predefined strategies, which offer almost the same interest. I suggest you do some research and create your own strategy that fits your needs. So here you can see our investment plan. We define the credit score of loans in which we want to invest as well as the interest rate. We don't want to experience any cash drag, which is why we invest in all loans from the chosen lenders. We chose the following five lenders. Factories Lithuania, Flexidea, Microcapital Romania, Noviti Finance and Triple Dragon. We chose lenders according to the skin in the game ratios, debt and the equity ratios, track record, default rates and their profitability. You can check all of this data under the loan originator section. 
Simply download the latest evaluation report and decide for yourself if it's a good fit for you in terms of risk and returns. You can limit the maximum amount, which is useful if you want to invest equally in individual lenders and set up multiple strategies. As our portfolio is rather small, we invest the full amount in all lenders. We also reinvest the interest and define our minimal and maximum amount per asset. You can invest with as low as 50 euro into one loan. Note, however, that the availability is much lower than on other marketplaces where you are funding consumer loans. As your loans are secured by additional securities, you can increase the minimum investment amount without worrying too much about your diversification. On the right side of the screen, you can name your investment plan, define the investment term, and tick the button where it says only buyback assets, which means that you will invest only in loans that are additionally protected by the buyback guarantee. Save your settings and the tool will automatically invest your funds. If you haven't topped up your account, you can simply navigate to the deposit section and transfer at least 500 euro, 500 dollars or 500 pounds. Let's now have a look at my investments so you can get an idea about the interest rate and the amount of current versus late loans. Under the My Investment section, you can view some basic data such as the interest, investment amount and the investment term of every asset. On the right side, you can download the legal agreement if you happen to need it for something. If you click on More Statistics, you can have a look at the performance of your investments in connection to the credit rating. You can also see the amount of your investments that are current in the grace period or late. On the right side, you will find a chart showing you the loan types in which you have invested. As you can see, most of my assets are on time. If you're wondering what's the grace period, it's the time frame for which the lender won't be penalized for. The grace period is here to cover possible payment delays caused by bank-to-bank -bank payments or national holidays. You should note that you are receiving interest for all your assets in the grace period. That's also the case if your investments are flagged as late. If your investment is late for a longer than their grace period, you will receive additional penalty on top of the interest rate. That's really handy since this forces borrowers to pay on time as this increases the expenses for their loans. So as you can see, Debitum Network is an interesting alternative to many other platforms like Mintos. There are, however, a few disadvantages that you should be aware of. The amortization type of many loans is set as bullet with interest payments at the end of the loan term. This means that in case you have invested a larger amount of money, you will have to wait until the maturity of the loan to get it back together with the interest. That's also one of the differences between consumer and business loans. While for consumer loans, you're getting interest and loan repayments every month, that's not the case with business loans. Another disadvantage is the lower returns, but that comes with the higher protection. Debitum Network doesn't have a secondary market, so you won't be able to access your money before the end of the long term. That's definitely something you should keep in mind as well. So if you are looking for an alternative platform, Debitum seems like a really good deal. At least my experiences have been very good so far. The support is also very responsive, which isn't always the case, especially with smaller platforms. If you happen to give it a go and sign up on Debitum Network with our partner link, you will receive a 10 euro bonus after your first investment of 250 euro, as well as a 1% cashback bonus on your investment of at least 1000 euro during the first 90 days. This bonus applies only if you use our link in the description below this video. In case you are already investing on Debitum Network, feel free to share your experiences with Debitum in the comments below this video. I'm curious to see your point on this B2B marketplace. As always, please do your own due diligence before you sign up and invest money. You can also check out our Debitum Network review on P2P Empire, which is being updated with the latest news surrounding this platform. And that's it from me today. If you want to get notified about the latest P2P lending news, subscribe to our newsletter, which I will link in the description below this video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you.